All right, students, this is your tutorial to sign in to that cut time email that you got from Sunday evening. So open your Gmail, your school Gmail, and go up to the search mail box. Click on that, and you're going to type in info at cuttime.net to do a search or you can just scroll down and find it, but you get so many emails, this is a quick, easy way to do it. And it says you're invited to join Oak Hills HS Data Management. So you're gonna click on that email. This is actually a legit thing. It is not spam, it is not a scam. So you wanna go down in this email and click Get Started with Cut Time. And then we're using Manny's account here today. You can create a username. I recommend you use the first part of your email if you would like a username. You don't, you might have to do this. I'm not sure. I think I did, yes. So make your username the beginning of your email. So in Manny's case, it'll be 19 Emmanuel Zagorianos. And then you're going to create a password. Um, Manny's going to use his school password, the one he uses every day to get into his computer because. It's something that you know and something that you use, and we decided it was eight characters long, and it definitely has numbers in it, and you already know that password, so I highly recommend you use that, and then it's gonna ask you to confirm it, and then click OK, let's go. And then it'll take you into the student view. Now I did a tutorial for the parents, and now we can see actually what it is that the students see. You do not see a financial window, apparently. Your parents are the only ones that see that. But you can scroll down through this home page and see that there is no news yet today because this is a new system and I am just learning how to do it as well. We're not currently using assignments, RSVP for events. We will be getting the calendar up and going. And because Manny is a senior, Sadly, he will not be attending the Disney trip with us, but his brother will, so we might log into his account to see it. If you are going to Disney, you will see a financial obligation here. Also, those of you that haven't paid your choir fees yet, that will be up and coming on this page. And when it's time for marching band fees for the next school year, that will go on here as well. And any strings fees, so we'll be able to keep it all in one nice, neat place. Down here at the bottom, you can change anything that you need to. It will probably ask you for your date of birth. You can enter your date of birth. It says your current grade level. Make sure it is your current grade level because next year we will do a promotion and it will automatically move you into the next grade level so you will not have to change that. You don't necessarily have this information right now, a music locker or a combination for it. However, if you are an instrumentalist and you do have a music locker in the room, this is a really good space to put that information. If you happen to be out and leave your folder locked in a cabinet, someone else will be able to get into it if we have this information. We always like to compile a list of private teachers. So if you are taking private lessons, please put your teacher's name here. And then keep scrolling, you can check all of this. A lot of it was done when we uploaded your information. You can put your home address and your city, state, country, all of these things. Feel free to input those things. It is really important that we have a mobile telephone number. Um, home telephone is option for you. You can select your mobile provider, and I'm not sure what that does, but I have a feeling it has something to do with sending text messages, which we do have the capabili capabilities of sending text messages from cut time. Nice, quick, easy way to get information out. I'm sure cut time having your cellular provider helps with this. Who's your cellular provider? at and all right. And then you can remove yourself if you get tired of getting text alerts. We will try not to send them too often. We don't want to flood your text message with unneeded messages. And then if you would like parents, especially your work telephone, but additional emails can go in here. And then hit save. If you keep scrolling, you can see the participation ensembles that Manny is in are two of them. Down here at the bottom, there are different tabs of information that we can include. 
we have the parents logs in here. Uniforms, this is not something that we've put in yet, but we will start using that. If you would like a new password, you can select it here. Any inventory like instruments that is assigned to you or uniforms, that would go here. And any notes, you can put notes about you or notes to us. And they will only be visible by the uh, administrators. That would be your music teacher. So before we log out of here, we're gonna hit save. And then up at the top, just to show you, there are people where you can see the people that are enrolled in here. Assignments, we're not unrolling this yet, but it could be something that comes down the way. I think one of our next missions is to get the calendar put into here because you can actually sign up to volunteer at events. Um, you can see all of the music department events, but also you'll be able to filter them by ensemble. We'll be able to assign them, so it'll make it nice and easy if you don't want to look at everything on the calendar, you can filter that out. Students, you can also volunteer, but we don't have anything in there just yet, and files and documents, so this will be somewhere um, that we'll put like parent background checks for the Disney trip. and permission trips for field trips and other things like that. So look for this to really start unrolling in the next several months and hopefully we'll have it, it full steam ahead by the time next school year opens. So that's cut time and it is legit and we hope that you find it to be a useful place for all of the information. Thanks for watching.